Hey, what is up guys? It is Fresh and I am back again bringing you guys another player review and today I am reviewing N4 Mitroglu. I think that's how you pronounce this game. I'm not completely sure, but this guy scored me 13 goals in 16 games, which definitely isn't that bad. And this player review was actually subscriber requested. So if you guys would like me to review any player, go ahead and let me down in the comments below. I am still working on uh, other players such as Yassine Brahimi, uh, Ibarbo, Benteke, and hopefully those reviews will be up within the next few days but yeah let me know if you uh let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to review any specific player and also team of the week is coming out later today so you know i'm gonna go ahead and try to review that but anyways on to this uh onto this guy now you saw in the end game stats he had 91 finishing and he does live up to that this guy has some really nice finishing you'll see throughout the clips just like this guy has some he, he finishes a lot of the goals but then he will hit the post sometimes too, and I just think that power shots in FIFA 14 just aren't that effective anymore. I haven't scored one long shot since I've been playing FIFA 14 that wasn't a finesse shot. I mean, I don't understand. Uh, uh, just power shots are not that effective anymore. Even when I go from like 30 yards out or something, like the shot will end up completely off target. But he did in one of the clips do a nice little, um, nice little shot to the outside post, I believe it was. So this guy still has one hell of a left foot on him. And not to mention that this guy can use both of his feet because he has four star weak foot. So. His right foot definitely isn't that used to see there, and I believe that has scored a couple of goals on his right foot. They should be in the clips. I think that was actually one right there. I'm not completely sure, but you get the point. This guy has some really high shot power, too, so definitely a great finisher when, uh, when you need him to be. And not only that, this guy can do some headers, too. He's six foot two. And um, I think it said like 80, 80 heading accuracy and, I don't know, 77 jumping, we'll say. And this guy, like... It felt better than that because this guy would score quite a few headers for me. Like, sometimes, literally, all I had to do was run down the wings and just cross the bar and poof, the ball's in the back of the net. So, yes, you can rely on this guy for headers also. Now, he might be slow, but his strength completely makes up for it. I believe he has 88 in-game strength, and that really helps a lot since FIFA uh, isn't as pace-oriented. It was easier to use him because his 88 strength held off defenders so well. So that is definitely useful because, like, when even when like faster defenders try to catch up with him, like he he did his best. You know, he held them off and more than likely kept running, even though his pace was low. That strength really did come into handy. Now this guy also has some pretty decent dribbling too. Definitely not the best that I've tried, but definitely not the worst. So I'll go ahead and give him that. But another great pro about this guy is even though he's a first week in form this guy pretty much goes for almost discard price i picked mine up for 11k sold them for about 15k and i can't see him going any higher than that to be honest so if you guys ever want to try him out this guy is pretty cheap to try out now the only there's a couple of downsides with him and um and that happens to be that he is sluggish. Yeah, 63 pace, I believe it is. It's pretty slow. So, I mean, nobody... That that would, like, pretty much, like, draw anyone's attention away from him. Also, he's in a not-so-popular league and not-so-popular nationality. So, it's kind of... It's going to be a bit harder to make a great squad about him. Uh, and low agility, he kind of turns like a tank because he has low agility. But other than that, this guy is a pretty good card and it's definitely worth the price. I forgot to mention that he also has four-star skill moves too for you skillers out there. So, I mean, he's a really nice and solid card. And if you can build a team around him, go ahead and try him out. I will probably pair him up with a faster striker just so things will work out smoothly. But even when I had him as a long striker, he did uh, wonders for me. So... My advice would be to try to pick him up or something just to try him out because even though he doesn't have that pace, that strength and that shot really does help him out. But anyways, guys, this is Fresh. I hope you guys enjoyed the play review. And uh, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Peace.